Doktor Osmanagić kaže da je uređaj postavljen u piramidu prije mnogo hiljada godina i to je izvor energetskog snopa valova. On kaže da takva tehnologija nije ništa posebno novo, budući da ju je već jednom koristio hrvatsko-američki izumitelj 20. vijeka Nikola Tesla i pokazao da je moguće stvarati slobodnu energiju. Jedan od ciljeva Teslinog nezavršenog Warden Cliff tornja je bio da izdvaja slobodnu energiju širokog pojasa iz zemljene atmosfere i zemlje, te je onda bežično pronesu i do korisnika. With this energy beam, it means that you have energy source, which is free, with a huge intensity, and look what we have today. We have to build very expensive power plant, nuclear plant, with so many problems. When we transport the energy, we lose 70%. When we sell it, it's so expensive. But the whole system is based on such expensive energy, not to mention gas, oil, and so on. Here, we have possibility to get the free energy forever. It means that we can finally make society with the equality, people will have more time to be happy. 120 years ago, one brilliant scientist called Nikola Tesla from Croatia, he made an experiment. From his lab, from so-called Tesla coils, some type of the transformers, he moved the energy in a wireless way, 120 years ago. And uh, at that time, There was a, a town called uh, Colorado Springs with 20,000 homes. He brought the lights to 20,000 homes in a wireless fashion from his lab. So he was using ionosphere as the source of the energy, so he tapped there. And uh, the planet, the Earth, he used as the condensate. So he was using everything that was free and available and he managed to give the free power to the people for one night. Apparently, it seems that the interest of some corporations was not that we got the free energy, but the energy that they can sell. So all his patents and all his work was forgotten or put on side. Now we have the second case, that reminds us that there is a source of free energy. Dr. Osmanagić vjeruje da bivajući unutar tunela Ravne i serije podzemnih prolaza i komora u blizini bosanske piramide sunca također pomaže liječenju tijela. On dalje objašnjava. Under the five pyramids in Bosnia, we have discovered the network of the tunnels and chambers and lakes When you enter there, you feel so peacefully. It's calm, the air circulation is perfect. People who build it, they had such advanced engineering skills. And you feel so much better when you are inside. People who have problems with asthma, when they get in there, they finally breathe normally. People who had some other problems, they simply feel much better just by being there. So we wanted to find out about this phenomenon. So we had instruments that can measure the negative radiations. In this room right now, we can feel on subconscious level several negative radiation. The first one is the cosmic radioactivity. We don't see that, but it hits the surface of the planet constantly, and it's negative, damaging for our body. Then you have negativity from the inside of the planet. Number three, you have underground water flows. Whenever you have underground rivers, you have negative energy coming up, attacking our body. Then there is some phenomenon called Hartmann's grid. We are surrounded by so many sources of negative radiations. We have several instruments to measure them. Once we enter the tunnels, the results for all these radiations were zero. In other words, no cosmic, no underground water negative energies, no Hartmann grids, no negative radiations. Dr. Osmanagić je lično osjetio 
poboljšanje vlastitog zdravlja provodeći vrijeme u tunelima ravne. Our cells do not need to fight that negative radiations and they can do their job that they were originally signed to, meaning they are supposed to balance the energies in our body, to balance and harmonize all our body organs and to fight toxins. And what we are going to do in 2011, in summer, we are going to measure 100 volunteers, their state of health before entering the tunnels and after. I was the first one, you know, who was tested before and after. Before they measured 65 points in my body, all the body organ, the pressure, the blood, everything. One of the things they found out was that uh, whenever you have organs in pairs, like chest, you got left and right hand side, usually one organ works better, the other one is kind of a little bit slower. In case of my chest, my left side works better. Why? Because when we breathe, we don't breathe properly, we should breathe much deeper instead of what we do. So left side is kind of uh, better than the right side. I went to the tunnels, I came back after a couple of hours. What happened? The cells did not have to fight radiation, so they were communicated in the body. They were taking the energy from this side to the right side. So they were acting very diligently. Now they were doing their job. Volunteri Fondacije za iskopavanje Bosinske piramide Sunca još odstranjuju naslag i materijala sa unutrašnje strane tunela Ravni i otkrivaju nove prolaze. Dr. Osmanagić sada dijeli svoje razmišljanja šta se dogodilo da su tuneli u jednom dijelu istorijskog razdoblja bili zatrpani. The second civilization that came there for some reason they decided to hide whatever is behind those tunnels because they need to lead somewhere. And it seems that they systematically cleaned those tunnels from bones and artifacts and tools because we find almost none. So it is a big mystery at this point. Why would somebody use hundreds of thousands of tons of material to fill everything up, bring millions of small you know, blocks from the riverbeds in order to make those dry walls. So it's mystery after mystery in Bosnia. Mi zloupotrebljavamo naš planet ubrzano istrpljujući njene dragocijene darove kao što je pitka voda. Dr. Osmanagić zagovara da mijenjamo naše stavove učeći kako su ranije civilizacije živjele kao i ponovnim otkrivanjem naše vlastite unutrašnje prirode i božanstvenosti. Today we rely on technology, cameras, computers, cranes, automobiles. People in the past had different ways how to build, how to erect, how to transport. They've created such ingenious structures like the pyramids. You see how we live today. We behave like we are the conqueror of the planet. We destroy everything in front of us, the plants, the animals. Who gives us that right? We are supposed to live in harmony with this planet. Today we act 99% as the materialistic beings. Only after the money, only... That's why we live in such a stressful environment, because we create such environment. If you want the change, the change will not come from the outside. It comes from within. First we need to change ourselves. We need to learn how to live in harmony, how to balance our spiritual and our physical aspects. Once we do that, we start working on our environment, in our surroundings, and that's how we change the world. Dr. Osmanagić poziva volontere da dođu u visoko i sudjeluju u istraživačkom radu na piramidama i tunelima ispod njih. You discovered in Bosnia is the world's cultural heritage. It belongs to the whole world, not to one man, one foundation, one little country. So far, archaeological research belongs to the elites. 
only archaeologists could go on the important archaeological site, and only selected archaeologists could go on the most important sites. In our case, we proclaim to be open for everyone. Whoever wants to become a part of the project, they are welcome to come in Bosnia. They can come and work with us one shift, one week, or two weeks, and they will get a unique experience. So when I say it belongs to the world, really anyone can come and see what we have and be part of it. So they can be volunteers or researchers or scientists or alternative scientists or tourists. It is open for everyone. We need to raise our consciousness. People need to be aware of such wonderful archaeological site. Hvala vam, Dr. Sam Samir Osmanagić, što ste razgovarali s nama o svom zagonetnom otkriću u gradu Visoko, a također i naša zahvalnost vašoj fondaciji za pomoć u otkrivanju dijela fascinantnog drevnog arhitektonskog nasljeđa čovečanstva. Očekujemo da u nadalozećim godinama više čujemo o otkrićima začuđujućih bosanskih piramida. Detaljnije o dr. Samu Samir Osmanagiću i bosanskim piramidama posljetite sljedeće internet stjanice www.samirosmanagic.com www.bosnianpyramidofthesun.com Knjige dr. Osmanagica su dostupne na www.interliber.com Hvala vam poštovani gledalci na vašem društvu uz današnji program. Slijedi emisija Riječi mudosti nakon značajnih novosti. Neka nas sve nebo zauvijek raskošno blagoslovi. Thank you respected viewers for your company on today's program. Coming up next is words of wisdom after not 14 years. May heaven forever abundantly bless us all. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.